Hello, dear students. This is your engineering mathematics three lecture. The topic is how to fit a second degree parabola for the given set of points. In previous lecture, also we have discussed how to fit a straight line for the given set of points. Means this uh, topic is uh, from third unit for fitting. Third unit is statistics. And in the uh, third unit, the topic is curve fitting. In that curve fitting, there are uh, two topics: how to fit a straight line and how to fit a second degree parabola. In the previous lecture, we have discussed how to fit a straight line for the given set of points. Now we are going to discuss how to fit a second degree parabola for the given set of points. Now see, if the curve to be fit is a second degree parabola, y is equal to a plus b x plus c x square. Then the normal equations are here to fit a second degree parabola. Summation y is equal to n into a plus b into summation x plus c into summation x square. Here, n small n means the number of number of values of x and the corresponding values of y. That is the value of n. Second normal equation is summation x y is equal to a into summation x plus b into summation x square plus c into summation x two. Third equation is summation x square y is equal to a into summation x square plus b into summation x two plus c into summation x raised to four. Here c the number of n small n means number of observations. So it is written. Now there is one note to fit a second degree parabola. To reduce the calculations to fit a second degree parabola, y is equal to a plus b x plus c x square. We introduce a new term, capital X, which is equal to x minus x bar upon h, where x bar is the mean of x and h is width of x. Width means difference between two successive values of x. That is the term h. So you first find capital X, and we are introducing this term only to reduce the calculations. Remember it. Okay. If we introduce this capital X. Then in that case, your equation of second degree parabola becomes y is equal to a plus b into summation. Sorry, y is equal to a plus b into capital X plus c into capital X square. This x is here capital X because we have introduced here capital X. Otherwise, the equation of parabola is small y is equal to a plus b x plus c x square. The x is small. But when we introduce capital X to reduce the calculations, then in that case, the equation of parabola is Small y, y as it is, it is small, but cap x is here capital X. Remember, and what is the value of that capital X? It is x minus x bar upon h. And if we are, we have replaced that small x by capital X. So the norm in the normal equations also, you replace that small x by capital X. So these are the new normal equations here. We have discussed that uh, in starting the normal equations for second degree parabola. These normal equations are here. But we have introduced that capital X, so replace every term of x small x by capital X in this normal equation, and that y will be as it is small y. And so the new normal equations are here. These are the normal equation. Now see how to fit a second degree parabola for the given set of points. Here is the example. Now fit a. The example is here. Fit a second degree parabola y is equal to a plus b x plus c x square to the following data. The set of points are given here. The values of x are zero, one, two, three, four, and the corresponding values of y are here one, zero, three, ten, twenty one. Okay. Now we are going to fit a second degree parabola y is equal to a plus b x plus c x square here, and to reduce the calculations, we are going to introduce here that capital X, which is nothing but x minus x bar upon h. H is the width of the uh, intervals. Means the difference between two successive values. It is here one, zero, and one. The difference is of one, one and two. The difference is of one. So uh, the width of intervals is here one. Means the value of H is one. And x bar, x bar is the average value of the values of x. Here the values of x are given. You just find the average. You know how to find the average. You just add all the values of x and divide it by number of values of x. Here five values are given: zero, one, two, three, four. Five values are given. 
you just add the uh, add all the values of x and divide it by 5 you will get the average x bar okay and so here uh, h is 1 so your capital x is x minus x bar upon uh, sorry x minus x bar only because the value of h is here 1 and uh, the normal equations are now like this uh, that x is capital x and the y is small y here uh, already we have discussed the normal equations when we introduce capital x then in that case how to write the normal equations these are the normal equations and now construct the table to solve the normal equation see here x bar the value of x bar is here too we do the addition of all the values of x and divide it by n n means number of elements number of uh, elements here five the value of n is five and so you divide the addition of uh, all the values of x it is here 10 divide 10 by 5 and the average x bar is 2 so x minus x bar this term is here x minus 2 remember it capital x its value is x minus 2 now from normal equations see we required summation y so construct the column y and then do the addition of all the values of y that will be your summation y this is 35 here then uh, summation x and we have introduced capital x so you just do the addition of all the elements of x see how we have constructed this column x x minus 2 x actually it is x is equal to x minus x bar x bar is 2 so the value of capital x is x minus 2 see how to do the calculation 0 small x column first value is 0 0 minus 2 minus 2 1 minus 2 is minus 1 2 minus 2 is 0, 3 minus 2 is 1, 4 minus 2 is 2. So, this is the column capital X. Just do the addition of all the values, it is 0. Then x square column. Because we want these values x square, x cube, x raised to 4, x into y, x square into y for these normal equations. So, you construct all the columns, you uh, find the values of all the columns. Uh, we have introduced x and this is the column x of the values of capital x x square you just do the square of every element in column x capital x column you will get x square then x cube x raised to 4 x into small y capital x into small y capital x square into small y and these are the calculations in last you just do the addition of all the elements in every column you will get the submission value also summation x summation y summation capital x summation capital x square summation capital x cube summation capital x raised to 4 and so on and then you put all the values in this normal equation see the first normal equation is summation y summation y its value is 35 so put summation y is equal to 35 is equal to n a n means number of values here uh, the values of x are here 1 2 3 4 5 5 values are given and same values of y are given so n is equal to 5 there are 5 observations n is equal to 5 into a plus b into summation x c summation x capital x its summation is 0 so middle term is 0 plus c into summation x square summation x square it is 10 c so the first equation is 35 is equal to 5a plus 10 c this is your first normal equation after putting the value second normal equation Summation x into y. Summation x into y, its value is 50. So write in LHS 50 is equal to a into summation x. Summation x, capital X, well, taking here capital X, its value is 0. Summation x is 0. So put uh, summation x is equal to 0. Middle term b into summation x square. Summation x square is 10. So 10b, middle term, plus c into summation x cube. Summation x cube, its value is 0. So, c into 0, 0. So, it is 50 is equal to 10b, second normal equation. So third normal equation, summation x square y. Summation x square y is 98. So, put summation x square y is equal to 98 is equal to a into summation x square. Summation x square is 10. So, 10a plus middle term b into summation x cube. Summation x cube is 0. So, middle term 0 plus c into summation x raised to 4. Summation x raised to 4 is 34. So, third term is 34. So, these are the three normal equations here. 
question number 1 2 3 up to putting the value of all the terms in normal equations okay now solving this three equations see from equation number 2 50 is equal to 10 b so the value of b is here 5 because if we transfer this 10 in lhs then the term is 50 upon 10 50 upon 10 means 5 so the value of b is 5 so this is a uh, answer for b now solving equation 1 and 3 for a and c because we are uh, interested in the values of a b c from equation 2 we have the value of b now you find the value of a and c from equation 1 and 3 now solving 1 and 3 how to solve equation 1 and 3 for a and c you just multiply equation number 1 by 2 and uh, see the new equation is here if you multiply the first equation by 2 35 to the 70 is equal to 5 to the 10 Plus ten to the twenty, it is ten a plus twenty c. And uh, third equation is there ninety eight is equal to ten a plus thirty four c. Just do the subtraction of these two terms. We have multiplied equation number two, sorry, equation number one by two because we are going to eliminate this a from equation one and three. If we multiply first equation by two, five to the ten, ten and this ten a. If we subtract one and three, equation one and three, then ten a minus ten a get cancelled. So in that case, we have the value of c. C solving equation one and three. We have we just do the subtraction. Seventy is equal to ten a plus twenty c minus ninety eight is equal to ten a plus thirty four c. We are doing the subtraction of equation number one and three. So you change the sign of every term in equation number three. Ninety eight minus ninety eight. Ten a. You change the sign minus ten. Thirty-four C change the sign. It will be minus thirty-four C. And just do the subtraction. Seventy minus ninety-eight is minus twenty-eight. Is equal to ten A minus ten A get cancelled. Twenty minus thirty-four. It is minus fourteen C. If we shift this minus fourteen in LHS, it will be minus twenty-eight upon minus fourteen. And so the value of C is two. So if we solve equation one and three, we have the value of C. It is equal to two. Now put the value of C is equal to two in equation number one. Either in equation one or three. To find the value of a, so if we put it, so is equal to two in equation number one. It is thirty-five is equal to five a plus ten c is two ten into two. And so it is thirty-five is equal to five a plus twenty, and so five a is equal to fifteen. We shift twenty here in LHS, it will be fifteen. So five a is equal to fifteen, and so a is equal to three. So a is three, b is five, and c is two. So these are the values of a, b, c. Now put all the values of A, B, C in equation number. Sorry, in the e equation of second degree parabola, which we have to fit. The curve to be fit is here. Y is equal to A plus B into capital X plus C into capital X square. We have introduced capital X, so the equation of second degree parabola is here. Y is equal to A plus B into capital X plus C into capital X square. Now put X is equal to what is the value of capital X? See, we have discussed it here while construct, constructing the table. What is that capital X? Capital X its value is x minus two. It is actually x minus x bar, but x bar is two, so it is x minus two. So here you replace that capital X by x minus two everywhere. So that your equation will y is equal to y as it is. It is small y. It is as it is. Is equal to a plus b into x minus two plus c into x minus two whole square. Now next step, you put all the values of a, b, c is here. A is three, b is five, and c is two from all the above calculations. And you just uh, simplify uh, the term x minus two whole square. Its expansion is x square minus four x plus four. And then next step. Now uh, you solve y is equal to three plus solve this uh, x minus two term for five so that it is five x minus ten plus solve this bracket term x square minus four x plus four for two so it is two x square minus eight x plus eight and then you just do the addition so it is y is equal to three three plus eight eleven eleven minus ten one minus five x minus eight x minus three x plus Two x square, and so the equation of second degree parabola is is here. Y is equal to one minus three x plus two x square is the required equation of parabola, and so this is 
the example how to fit a second degree parabola for the given set of points and this topic is covered here how to fit a second degree parabola for the given set of points we have introduced here capital x only to reduce the calculation remember it and this topic is over here how to fit a second degree parabola also this topic for fitting is over here in last lecture we have discussed how to fit a straight line for the given set of points and here in this lecture we have discussed how to fit a second degree parabola for the given set of points and so the topic for fitting is over here and this third unit statistics is also over here thank you